find how many weekends are in a month using Excel. In Excel, calendar dates are treated differently from other types of data such as text and numbers. Excel provides a lot of formatting options for dates. You can display them in many different ways. And it also provides arithmetic kinds of functions such as uh, addition and subtraction. And uh, we also can use Excel functions to extract portions of the date like dates and months. So here we're going to look at how to find how many weekends are in a month. And for this, we will use a function called networkdays.intl. So it actually refers to the networking days, uh, hence the name. And we will see how that works. So I start by typing equals and say network days. I have two types. I have network days and an enhanced version called networkdays.intl. So I double click this. Now for this, I need to give a start date and end date. In this data set, I have a start date here, comma, then I click the end date. Now, this is where it gets interesting because this is where I'm going to adapt this formula to count the weekends. So what this uh, function actually does is counts the number of working days between the start uh, date and the end date. Now, I want to count the number of weekends. So here, this function allows me to define which are the working days and which are the weekends. It's a seven-digit notation where one stands for a holiday or a non-working day and zero stands for a working day. So here I'm going to define from Monday to Friday as holidays. So I'll put seven, uh, sorry, five, one, two, five ones and two zeros. So this indicates that Monday to Friday are non-working days and only Saturday and Sunday are the um, working days. I then put a comma, uh, sorry, I close the brackets here because uh, the last is an optional argument, which is I can define any additional holidays. In this case, I don't want to because I'm adapting this to count only Saturdays and Sundays and close the brackets. Now, this will count the number of Saturdays and Sundays between the start and end date, but I only want the number of weekends. So I'm going to divide that by two and press enter. So here I have five. That means uh, in the month of January 2022, there were five weekends. I can then drag this formula down to the rest of the columns. Now you will see that in some cases it's given as 4.5. So this is because only one, either Saturday or Sunday, has fallen in the, in the month of April. So if we look at the calendar, we'll find that uh, 30th of April is actually a Saturday and 1st of May was a Sunday. So that is why both months show only four and a half. That's 4.5 weekends. So this is how we can use this function. We've adapted the function to count working days uh, and defined Saturday and Sunday as the working days and divided that is by two to get the number of weekends. So please read the appended article for more information.